Norman and Dennis. One morning at Knapford Station, Sir Topham Hatt was looking through some of his Diesel's database in his computer in his office when he noticed something. Mm, what do we have here? BR Class 11001. Looks like this is Norman and Dennis's class. I've heard before that these weren't produced massively like most of the other classes. So I'm pretty lucky I own two of them. Let's scroll to here real quick. What? Am I seeing what I'm seeing? Oh man, that can't be good. Only one of them is listed in the database, so that means the other one is illegally on my railway. Oh no. Although I'm surprised that no railway inspector noticed this yet. But considering how old of a class this is, I don't even think they keep record of it anymore. But I have to do something about this. Edward's signal just changed when... Sir Topham had stepped out of his office. Ah, uh, good morning, Edward. Ah, uh, good morning, sir. Sorry, I don't really have time to chat around. My signal is green. Goodbye. No, 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 Edward, wait a second. What is it, sir? This is quite important to talk about, and since you are the one who knows the most about the railway, I guess you know Norman and Dennis's class. Yeah, but should we really chat about this here on the main line? I guess somebody else wants to use this line. I guess that's right. Then drop off your trucks and come to the shunting yard. I'll explain everything. So Edward did. Just as that, James was finished at Tidmouth and turned around to go to Vickerstown again. Oh, Edward, what are you doing there? Sir Topham Hatt wants to explain something very important about Norman and Dennis's class. I don't know what. I wouldn't mess with those stinky diesels if I were you. Well, you know, James, it doesn't really work like that on my side. Just be grateful that it's not you and carry on with your work. All right, all right, I was just asking. James West. All right, Edward. I'll explain it now. Yes, sir. So, I was scrolling through the database of the diesels, and I saw that from the BR class uh, 11001, which is Dennis and Norman's class, only one is in the database of the whole British Railways. And how is that possible, sir? I don't know. There are clearly two of them on my railway. That's what really I wanted to tell you. Yeah, and what should I do about it, honestly? Take me to Vickerstown, where both of them are, and we'll explain it to them so we can do something to make them legal, I guess. Wait, like, aren't them already legal? Like, both of them had to come out of the factory at some point. Yeah, I know, but... That's pretty weird that only one is registered in the database of the whole British Railways, not just on the NWR, you know. Well, yeah, I guess. So Edward took Sir Topham Hatt to Vickerstown. Their first stop was at Vickerstown Diesel Works. So, I remember giving the engines a day off today, so all of them should be here. But they clearly saw that Norman wasn't there. Hey everyone, do you know where Norman is? Um, yeah, basically, uh, uh, I forgot. Uh, he went to collect, uh, Boko's new parts from Durndam Docks. But I remember giving a day off for everyone today. Oh, uh, hello, sir. Well, I know, but he volunteered to do it because Boko was waiting for his parts now. Yeah, because it's pretty important to find him now. At least, do you know where Dennis is? He usually works at the Vickerstown shunting yards, you know? Oh, of course, with Billy and Rosie. 
Alright then, firstly we'll go to him and then we'll find Nat Norman. Thank you. But wait, what was the so Oh, uh, whatever. By the time Norman arrived back, they already left. Oh, uh, Norman! Yes, Paxton? So Topham Hat was here with Edward and wanted to say something to you, but I don't know what because they don't didn't explain it. Yeah, they wanted Dennis as well. Maybe you'll still find them at Vickerstown Chunting Yards. Alright, then we'll see what I can do. Boko, here are your new parts! Alright, thank you, Norman. But now you should go because I heard Edward was here and... Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm going, I'm going. So he went to find his brother and Sir Topham Hat. The Vickerstown Goods Yard wasn't a mess. Alright, Billy, those lands are going for Rebecca. And I'm gonna get this fuel, fuel train to be ready for Vinny. Dennis was sleeping on a siding. Whoa, whoa. Don't be lazy, Dennis. Yell will be light. From what? From shunting, of course. Get your wheels moving. We have a lot to do. I already shunted this train for Hero. Hero is in Japan, bruh. Oh, then Hank, I'm always messing up the two. But that's not your only job today. Yeah, I know, but... Oh, I'm so tired. How can you all be tired at once? Jesus Christ. Edward Wright with Sir Topham Hat at the goods yard. Hi, Dennis. Oh, hi, sir. I was working, you know. Yeah, I know your work. Now, I'm here because of a much bigger occasion. I was scrolling through your database with your brother, and I only found one total registered engine of your basis. Oh, did it really, sir? Indeed it did. So we basically can say that one of you is illegal on this railway. Well, technically, I was here first, so... Clearly, I'm not the illegal one. It depends on who was produced first, you or Norman. Well, I only met Norman when I... He came to Sodor, so basically, I guess he was after me. You can tell me you didn't know only one was reproduced from you. Well, I knew it, but I... I guess I forgot it by the time Norman arrived. Yeah, enough from this chitter-chattering. Now we should both go to the mainland, you and your... With me, and maybe Edward too, to find out what really happened. But sir, I really have to go back to that train. Nas, on the way I arranged that. James will take it. Meanwhile back at Napford. A good train? Edward! So yeah, we can go now. But first, we have to find your brother. They said he was at Brandon Docks, sir. Yeah, I know, Edward, so that's where we are going. But much for their surprise. Norman right behind them. Hi, everyone. Ah, Norman, here you are. So good we ha don't have to go to the other side of the island again. So yeah, what was that really special thing you talked about, sir? I'll explain it on the way. We have to go to the mainland. To get both of you registered. And where, sir? Of course, in the British Railway's headquarters in London. When they arrived at the place, Sir Topham had explained everything to the head of the company. So yeah, the database says that only one of these engines was produced. Mm, the 1949 BR11001. I'm surprised though, because... I remember this is one of the few engines that weren't mass-produced. But I didn't know only one was of them. And you own both of them? Well, I guess. How did you manage to financially bear that? I got them both on a really good price. Is there a problem with that furnace engine as well? Oh no, he just transported me here. He is my personal engine, you know. By the way, Edward, don't ever tell this to Thomas. Nor you two. All right, sir, All right we won't. sir, we won't. Well, I guess we have to update the system then. Thank you for noticing this. Goodbye. Wait, so 
no financial and anything. What do you mean by that? I mean like, one of them wasn't illegal? No, maybe our system wasn't accurate, you know? It's nothing illegal about that. You can clearly see these were produced, none of them look a knockoff. And I guess both of them have their papers. Yeah, do you have them? Um, it's on my com computer in my office. You should have a physical version, sir. Well, I have, but that's also in my office. Ah, I was just pranking, I don't need it. We have everything online now, so basically we have both of these engines in our database. By name, not by class. Alright then, I guess we're settled then. Indeed, sir. It was pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, it wasn't really a business, but oh well. At least we now made our system more accurate. For sure. Goodbye then. Alright, goodbye, have a nice day. So now I guess this is a good ending. We didn't have to do any legal things or illegal things, you know. They just had to update their system. After like, 71 years. Huh. Basically, yeah. Alright, then I'm going back to Napford with Sir Topham Hat. Goodbye, you two. Goodbye, Edward. Goodbye, Edward. Goodbye, Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, you two. So that was interesting to look back on, sir, right? Quite right, Edward. It was. Alright, then.